I have a confession to make. I totally overlooked this table saw. I bought into the haters who said this was a cheap budget table saw with plastic gears and gimmicks and that there was no way it was a half decent table saw. But after getting my hands on it and actually using it, I want to set the record straight for anyone else who might have straight away looked past this unit. Let's start with cheap and budget. I would not consider this a cheap or budget table saw. At about 22,000 pesos or $400, it's definitely priced at par with other table saws in the same range. The bigger question is, for that price, does it tick the most important boxes? Because let's face it, there are still brands out there who charge just as much or more who don't have what should be standard to table saws today, such as a rack and pinion fence, quick and easy micro fence, at least a 24 inch rip capacity. But skill doesn't stop there. They pack much, much more to their table saw, making this unit a real contender, dare I say even winner in this space. How so? Number one, for the price, you get a built-in stand. And the stand wasn't an afterthought either. The legs tuck away in such a manner that it doesn't interfere with accessory storage. The unit even has rubber bumpers and provisions for it to be laid on its side during unfolding or on a surface if you weren't planning to use the legs. And if you have uneven floors, one of the legs is adjustable to ensure a stable base. And speaking of stability, it feels nice and solid. You are unlikely to tip this thing over unless you intentionally try to do so. And as far as the height of the work surface, while it isn't adjustable, it's perfect for a guy like me. And I stand about five feet, nine inches barefoot. But to me, the area where this table saw shines the most is in its innovation in the area of calibration and convenience. Apart from all the other standard areas for calibration like fence alignment and blade angle stoppers at 90 and 45 degrees, this unit has a built-in tool-free way to adjust and make sure your blade is parallel to the miter slot. Are you ready for this? Check this out. Just under the table, you have this wing nut that once loosened allows you to pivot the blade left and right so that if for whatever reason your blade is in parallel to the miter slot, you can adjust it. Now, this unit came in perfectly calibrated, but I couldn't resist the chance to play with this knob, so I purposely offset it to not be parallel to the miter slot. So all you do is simply turn this knob and you can see that the blade shifts. You just keep turning that knob until the blade is parallel and then lock it down with the wing nut. This is really genius and I've never seen this in any other job side table so I've gotten my hands on. I love this. And there are other innovations too. You know the 90 and 45 degree stoppers? There's a button you can press to tilt an extra two degrees. Now, why would you want to do that? The short answer is they're great for bevel joints. Those of you who work with miter joints will know what I'm talking about. Blade height adjustment also feels a lot faster than other units. I think it probably has something to do with what looks like larger gears. Speaking of the gears, that's one of the first things I heard about this unit when it came out. The gears are plastic. And while yes, technically they are, they're also engineered plastic. So they're tougher. While you could argue metal gears would have been better, personally, as long as they don't break on me, I really don't care what they're made of. By the way, just a quick tip on gears. And this applies to whether you have this unit or another one with metal gears on it. The moment you feel the blade height adjustment to be heavier than usual, get down there with a blower and brush and clean them off. It makes a big difference. I recently cleaned the ones on my old table saw and it feels brand new again. Another very simple but still cool new thing is the elbow dust port. I mean, yeah, you can probably fashion one for any table saw with some PVC pipe, but Skill still thought to already give you one and even have dedicated storage for it on the saw. Call me simple, but this is probably my second favorite thing about the unit. I can't tell you how many times I've been too lazy to pull out the vac and just let dust blow everywhere. With this, you can just point the dust down to a bucket and you're done. And if you want to stick a vac in, you don't have to remove it, just put it in. So what else? This is a true 10 inch blade, meaning it uses a 254 mm blade as opposed to the 250 mm blade you need to use on the locally available DeWalt. That's right, I'm looking at you DWE7492. The fence also has a T-shank slot, which is great if you're the type to make jigs and sacrificial fences and whatnot. The riving knife adjustment is also interesting. Once you loosen it, you can't put the blade cover back unless you properly lock it back down. That's a great safety feature. And by the way, the riving knife is adjustable too in case it's not 
perfectly aligned with the blade. For the dado freaks out there, yes, the Arbor is compatible for dado blades up to 5 eighths of an inch. Having said all of this, there are two things I don't like about the saw. The first is a lack of a soft start or electronic brake. At the price point, however, maybe that's asking for too much. The other thing is the noise. To be fair, when I compared the noise level of this unit with the footage of other corded job site table saws I reviewed, it actually hovers about the same as the others. Again, I may be just nitpicking because I have been spoiled for the last two years by my cordless brushless table saw, which feels significantly more quiet. Final thoughts. I've been fortunate through this channel to have been able to try table saws from a bunch of different brands. And I can definitively say, based on my experience and the innovations it's introduced on calibration, that in my opinion, this may have just surpassed the DeWalt as the best locally available corded job site table saw in the market as of February of 2023. This is a goodbye.